is. That's literally like, I can't, but I, I can't even imagine being that tall, but like, I have a hard time with my own feet and I don't have particularly large feet. Like for, for a woman I have like, I think they're like seven, seven and a half depending. DJ, it must be strong. Good to see you. Welcome in. Happy Thursday. I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm so happy you're here. Yes, please make sure you are following DJ SB Strong. Uh, fantastic member of the community, DJ, and all around fun person. So yeah, so glad you're here. Uh, we just finished up making some short crust pastry, which is now going to be in the fridge uh, and it's hanging out and chilling. Uh, we just actually did some rough puff, which will also hang out and chill in the fridge because we're getting ready for New Year's Eve. So I've done, uh, the short crust is gonna be turned into a French Canadian uh, meat pie called a tortiere. The puff pastry is actually going to be turning into a vegetable wellington. And now I'm getting onto some shoe pastry because my piece de resistance for 2022 or my piece to crying on the floor because it destroyed is going to be a broken bouche. So we need to get the shoe pastry going. Uh, and I'm doing it today because as with everything I'm doing, you can actually do these a couple days in advance so you don't have to stress yourself out. Um, you can stretch it out for a few days. Uh, do it piece by piece that way you're not doing everything all at once which can make you crazy I believe me I've been there I know uh, so I've done the puff and the short crust we're getting onto the shoe uh, I'm going to be using uh, bread flour today for that uh, I need it sturdier because these these babies need to be filled and then they need to stack so fingers crossed it'll all work out uh, but yeah so I need to measure up my flour first. I'm going to set it off to the side because it doesn't actually go in right away. It uh, gets dumped in all at once after I've uh, heated my milk and my water and my butter together. But let's get this measured out. We need, how many cups do we, need? we need a cup of flour and bread flour and regular flour only vary by about five grams in the cup measure handed bag. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. I think we all have been. I thought I had an extra scoop. I do not. Two scoops of raisins. Oh, there's. I'm just going to grab my other scoop for my other flour here. So, yes. Um, I usually use the 128. What did I bring back from Amsterdam? Wooden shoes? Oops. Eating all the skin off a rotisserie chicken? Mm, okay. Yum. It's not the worst answer we've had tonight, so I'm really glad that that was that. Was that. Um, yeah, so I use the 128 grams per cup for a uh, all-purpose flour and 136 grams per cup for bread flour. The weight differences aren't that big. Uh, bread flour just has a higher protein content. It's going to be stronger, which is why you use it for bread. It needs to be kneaded. Life was difficult for cavemen before Underground, I'm gonna ban you in about five seconds. A full refund from Cards Against Humanity paid for people by Richard. <laughs> that. That right there. <laughs> all right, so. All right, so I'm going with 136, so that is 272 grams of all, uh, bread Nothing flour. Because I'm doubling this recipe. I'm going to try and make my. Um, tower 15 inches tall so we shall see so I want to check my math on that 136 times 2 272 do I need to get out the kitchen calc I can't help but notice Pete your balls are a little